What's up, everybody? Old man boxing. Hey, yo, you know what? I got this pen from my brother. It's called the Neck to Be. And all I got to say is, yeah, damn. But anyway, I want to talk about something that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time. I think it's, you know, it's, it's something different. You know what I'm saying? It's something different. You know, it's 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 a joke, but in a way, it's not. You know what I'm saying? So you know, it's both because it is true. You know, and so I figure I just gotta just share it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So you know, as black folk, we have a lot of us still got a slave mentality. Now I'm saying that in the in the in a good way because there. All of the slave mentalities aren't bad. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the one that I'm about to talk about is the one particular one. You know? But all in all, slave mentality is terrible. You know, it, it is. But, you know, you got, you got to look at it. Okay. What was one thing that they did with black people? Well, what was the main thing that they did with black people for us to procreate? They treated us like animals. So for us to procreate, they forced men, women who didn't know each other to have sex with each other or in a lot of cases it was family members. And you know when you when you when you do family members, when family members procreate, you tend to have children who are, who have issues, slow down syndrome, all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Is 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 that they be they they're inbred. And anything that's inbred tends to not it, it tends to diminish some something's missing or a whole lot is missing you know it's just completely off you know what i'm saying so you know you guys got it now i know that I'm, I'm gonna jump into this too i know throughout um african history that sex was revered a certain way not like we do now you know now it's exploited it's not revered in the like for instance the obelisk the obelisk is symbolism you know i'm not going to tell you guys what it is because i know some of these religious folks blow all that stuff out of proportion because they don't know what it is because they got their minds twisted on what it is but anyway <clears throat> you know so d during that process you got to understand that Things go into our DNA and it's carrying on by our children. So the next generation that is born is more prone to do those things than you are and then than yet than the previous generation because the previous generation was taken away from how they were living you know what i mean from how they truly live from the natural ways of how they live they was taken away from that and was forced to give you know they they, they was give they was forced into another way of living a terrible way of living you know i mean destructive and a lot of that stuff is carried down. Actually, majority of it, damn near the ninety-nine percent of it, is carried down generation to generation to generation. Thus, forming the slave mentality. So, I say that to say this: we love sex these days. We love it. Yes, baby. Hey, hey, look, you go in the hood, and I'm talking about brothers and sisters now. Yo, you go in the hood, babies, 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 babies. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got one woman, she got like nine kids. Like, damn, I thought I thought them were cousins and nephews in there. I thought like two or three were hers, but no, all them were hers. You know, like, yeah, hot. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, it's exploited. But I'm going to tell y'all straight up, though. That's one slave mentality I don't mind having. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, hey. I don't mind having that slave mentality right there. I don't mean like going out and making babies, but I mean just the fact that a brother wants some from, you know, he see, see, see the female be like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Brother want that. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's part of the slave mentality that's been carried down to us. Because had we not been compromised, we wouldn't even have them kind of thoughts. It wouldn't even be an afterthought. First of all, we was walking around damn near naked. So it wasn't nothing to see the phallus and, and all of that stuff on, on men and, 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 and you know, see, seeing a woman's yanni. You know what I mean? It wasn't nothing to see that. Seeing her chest, her breast. It was all out there. So sex wasn't like it is now to us who cover up all the parts and make those parts is is it's like it's like the kid who you who you say you can't go outside or you can't do this you can't do that it makes them more curious about what you don't want them to do that's what covering up the parts do to the mind now, I don't know if y'all know that, but I've been reading psychology books ever since I was like 10 years old. My father don't know that because he used to keep all them books inside the damn closet. And I used to pick them up and just start reading them. If I ain't understand something, he had a dictionary too. I'd look up the word. If I didn't know the, the word that was in the dictionary, I'd look up that word. I was that kind of a kid. But anyway, like I'm saying, though, I mean, yeah, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's a slave mentality, but how could that be bad? Unless you out there just exploiting it. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't mind seeing the fine sister going by and be like, oh, my mind just go all nuts and imagination is all out this world. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Man, shit, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But it is a slave mentality. But I'm cool with that one. Old Man Boxing signing out. Peace.